Hello ladies, how are you today? Um, so today's video I wanted to talk a little bit about my favorites. I know that it's a little bit too late to call it the July favorite, so I'm going to call it the current favorite. Um, just on the items that I've been really loving for the last couple months since I haven't done one of these videos in a very long time. So let's go ahead and get started. I don't have a little bit a lot of too much stuff um, I I don't know why I've been focusing a lot on the same items I've been using them a lot but I need to start you know being more um, open to trying new products because I haven't done that in a very long time and it's mainly because I pack a makeup bag to go to work and it's always the same items every every week so maybe what I'm going to start doing is putting different products in the bag so I get to try different products every week so I want I do want to start changing that um, so yeah so let's go ahead and get started the first things that I wanted to mention is the Anastasia Beverly Hills new lip glosses a mini set that they came out for the summer I have really been liking um this product I don't I'm not a big gloss fan I haven't been since I since we all discovered the matte look um, I haven't really been using a lot of glosses but I, the main three colors or you can say four colors it comes actually with six total colors which are these right here so these are three and then the other three are right here um, the ones that I have been loving a lot are going to be these four, which they're the neutral colors. And surprisingly, I, ha I really like this metallic one right here. So the colors are Blushing, St. Tro Tropez, Caramel, and Toffee. Whenever I'm running late and I just want to put any new neutral color just to get out of the door as soon as possible, I always gear towards the NYX Full Throttle Lipstick in the color 03. I don't know if they have a name. Um, it's Kiss the Dust. It's this nude color right here. Um, what I've really been liking about this Full Throttle Lipstick, just the line in general, because I have two more colors. Um, it basically applies so smoothly and once you apply it, it is very difficult for it to come off. I think they actually say that it is waterproof and um, I'm going to say it it's really good. Um, it eventually comes off after a couple of hours, but it lasts a very long time for it to be a lipstick. So I really have been enjoying this because I know if I put it on really fast, uh, I definitely, it's going to last a very long time. And yeah, so... If you haven't checked out this NYX Full Throttle Lipsticks, um, check them out because it's actually a pretty good lipstick. I love it. I'm most excited about um, telling you guys about my current obsession. I know now that whenever I'm going to be out for a very long time, for a couple of hours if I'm going to an event, not an event necessarily, but like a party, a um, if I'm going out to explore the city or whatever it is, I can rely on this. I use this combo especially uh, when I'm going to work at my full-time job and I'm going part-time to Ulta. So this is what I have been using. So let's go ahead and get into it. It is a lot of items and I guess this combo can be kind of expensive if you look at it. But if you do have the products, um, it has been working for me. Just in case you haven't seen my videos before, if you're new, but if you have been watching my videos, I've repeatedly um, said that I am very oily and that is so true especially during the summer it's I'm just a grease ball I always moisturize my face first of course with my skincare and this is what follows after that so you all know that I have been a true believer of the Murad oil control moisturizer which I have been using now for two years I believe I really love this item because it keeps me matte and it also gives me SPF 15 which a lot of foundations don't have SPF so I really like this because I know that I have some protection so that's the first step that I do the other one that I just recently um, discovered is the Urban Decay Brightening and Tightening Complexion Primer Potion I really love it because it's actually supposed to how um, your skin of course is brightening and tightening so it really does do that because I feel like it also helps my pores as well. Another item that I religiously use every single day is the Benefit Professional. Right here. This is 
the last step that I do for my primers. The foundation that will last a very long time has always been the Estee Lauder Double Wear. So of course, um, I've only really used this combo with this foundation. Set Everything, which is also a new discovery. I actually purchased this during the Ulta Beauty uh, day, 21 Days of Beauty event, and it was only it was half price. I think I got it for like 12 bucks. And 12 bucks, I'm like, I'm gonna try it. You know, I've heard good things about it. So it's the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores uh, Poreless Finish HD Micro Powder. So this definitely sets everything together. I have really large pores, so everything combined makes my pores look super small, which I love. And for some reason, I feel like this powder really makes everything stay for a very long time. Those five items I know that will last at least, I think, I mean, well, if I apply makeup like at 7, 8 in the morning, then it probably lasts about 10 hours for sure. And I don't blot as much as I used to. Um, and I don't really, you know, apply. I don't really reapply products. Um, another thing is that I also just keep in mind that I also use a makeup setting spray. So that also helps it. The one that I also really love is the Smashbox uh, Primer Water. I have been using that as a makeup spray and it like, it's beautiful all together. So yeah, so if you guys wanted to try any of those products, I really like them. Um, the only one that I haven't used separately is the Urban Decay one. So I need to give this one a little bit more of a try with different products but so far it has been working very well with this i have been loving these other three foundations two of them are very expensive and two one of them is so affordable it's crazy how much i love it um i really have been liking the becca ultimate coverage coverage complexion cream and this is the foundation right here so this foundation is very full coverage and it's you know it's in the running for my top one with the estee lauder but I feel like this one, I can feel it more than I do with the Estee Lauder one. I feel like this one, it's thicker, it's heavier, but it's still very comfortable. So this is a good one right here. The color that I have here is in the color Nude. And those days where I don't want to wear a lot of foundation and I just want to, you know, go do some errands and, to, you know, cover my imperfections uh, is the Urban Decay One and Done hybrid complexion perfecter which comes with spf 20 and this is just um kind of like a tinted moisturizer it i really like it because it covers all my imperfections and it stays on for a couple of hours and i can just go do a lot of um you know the errands and not take long because i don't like to take long to do my makeup whenever i have to go do just a couple of stuff wet and wild had a 40 percent off at rite aid and i'm like okay i'm going to try some products i haven't tried so i picked up the wet and wild cover all cream foundation which is this one right here um this foundation it says it's all day wear medium to full coverage lightweight satin matte finish and it reduces the appearance of wrinkles and re rejuvenates skin ash and i really do like this foundation it's a very good coverage um and I do actually wear this to work. It doesn't last as long as, you know, my Estee Lauder, but I'm going to say that it looks pretty good for about five hours. I think this is probably like $4.99. It's a very good foundation and I love it and I do reach for it a lot. Uh, compared to like other foundations that I paid a lot more money for. You guys should go check this out if you haven't tried it yet. I've been having a couple of these colors in my drawer and I never reached out for them. It's the L'Oreal Infallible Shadows that look like this. Um, for some reason, I never really reach for them. But lately I have been getting an obsession. Mainly because any eyeshadow, no matter if I paid $1 for or $15 for whatever the amount is, this Too Faced Glitter Glue, I know they changed their packaging on it so it no longer looks like this. This one right here, um, it's, I love it. It's a miracle worker. Like any shadow, it will make it look so much better like if you paid a lot of money for it. And um, the reason why I feel like I've been loving these is because of that shadow base. They, it makes them look very intense and just it just stay on for a very long time. So I really have been loving these lately and I've been collecting a couple of more colors. So now I think I have 10 of them. One of my favorites and new colors is this one right here. Which I've never seen it before. And it's in the color Gilded Envy. And it's 
it's weird because it's a it's between like an olivey and silver tone shadow and here is just swatches for you to know how intense these are and they're not they're very inexpensive i think they're like 7.99 so you should check these out if you haven't already I wanted to talk about this wet and wild brush that i probably paid like two dollars for sorry if it's a little bit dirty but i used it yesterday um but this is how it looks this shadow has also been my go-to when i apply um any shimmer on my eyelid uh, so it's really nice and soft and it picks up the color very well these new wet and wild brushes are actually pretty good i think i own like three now but i feel like i want to go get another backup because this is the only one that i have been using lately for my um my lid to apply any shimmer so check go check this one out so Ardell came out with a new line for their lashes which is called studio effects so basically it's a customized um lash so what they did is that their typical some of their typical lashes what they did is they reapplied like a layer of another lash um so this is the demi wispies one and it looks so much more full so you focus it so much more for mainly on the edge area these i love um i really love these without an eyeliner i am it's really hard to put lashes without an eyeliner for me because it makes my eye look smaller for some reason but i really do enjoy these lashes um without an eyeliner or with the, with it it doesn't matter but these are really great i know they have a couple more styles um but this whole line the studio effects is a great idea and i have been like non-stop buying these i know they're a little bit more expensive i think they're 5.99 but they're really worth the money last two items that i have is these uh violet voss eyeshadow palettes this one is the holy girl this is the one that they did in collaboration with laura lee um so this is the one with laura lee and this is the holy grail one so i bought mine at fame expo and i have like non-stop been using them and let me show you in comparison so you can see them together i don't know if the laura lee is still available the only difference that i really see a lot is on the last um row which these have more green and they have the black as this one has more uh, red tone shadows. Wish I could have paid attention uh, before, but I honestly could have just purchased one and I would have been happy with it. Up to you which one you would get, but if you have one, I wouldn't purchase the other one. I really love their shadows though because they're very pigmented and they blend well. And I've never tried anything from Viola Voss, so when I saw them at Fame, I'm like, oh, I want those. That Holy Girl was the main one that I wanted, but once I saw the one from Laura Lee. I'm like, I have to have them both. Uh, but yeah, they're really great shadows. Um, so give them a try. I still have to try their lashes and their lip products. But so far, their eyeshadow palettes really impressed me. That is all for my current favorites. I really have been reaching out for these products um, for a very long time now. Uh, so I just wanted to share that with you. Know what your current favorites are and I will probably check them out. And just share, you know, share what you really like. Maybe I haven't tried it and I'll be one of my holy girls as well. Um, so yeah, so let me know. And thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys are doing well. I will talk to you guys on my next video. Take care.